Time now for News for Utah Sports with Dana Green. Well, college football season is just about to start, so let's talk college hoops. That's right, the second annual Beehive Classic is December 8th, and with Utah playing BYU and Weber State taking on Utah State, this Beehive Classic could be a classic. Just over 7,700 fans showed up last year to Vivint Smart Home Arena, but with Utah taking on BYU on a neutral court for the first time since 2006, the place should be packed. I think that it'll probably be pretty full. That's what I would imagine. I would imagine that the tickets will be hard to get. No matter what direction we go as far as leagues are concerned, they, they have a chance to watch the in-state teams play each other and feel that emotion and energy. My guess is you're going to have a pretty frenzied group of Utah fans that come in. You know, there'd be an equal allotment for each side, and then everybody will try to finagle away in the building. But I, um, I don't sense that it's going to be one of those environments that you come in where you're disappointed. Do you have access to tickets? For you? Yeah. No. Uh -huh. Now, BYU is undefeated in the home of the Jazz, 12-0, something Coach K just realized. It's going to be tough. They've never lost here. And if I would have known that, we never would have played the game. <laughs> the second game pits Weber State against Utah State, and Randy Ray loves these in-state games. We embrace it. We love it. They're, they're our most favorite games of the year. You know, our kids get jacked up. Our fans get jacked up. And uh, to me, they're, they're really important to maintain those rivalries. New Aggies head coach Craig Smith brings a new philosophy to Utah State. He calls it Gata. It's really a mantra. It's really a way of life. So Gata is an uh, old football acronym. Uh, get after their butts. Okay. And so uh, we won't Clean say it up for Utah. Yeah, we won't say that other A word. <laughs> Appreciate that, coach.